This video starts with light-hearted content but evolves into scenes involving paranormal activity, which may be unsettling or disturbing for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I live in a weird house. Sam and Colby have ghost hunted my house, Chris has ghost hunted my house, and I have ghost hunted my house. My house started as a tiny little farmhouse, which then just kept expanding and expanding. As people lived here, they added more and more rooms until it turned into a Franken house that makes no sense, and then I needed it, of course. I was really on a roll. I'm sorry, Molly, come on. Now, now I don't remember for, what it was. came for a visit. Say hi to everybody. Hi, Mo. Everybody was been wondering how you're doing. How are you? Let's She's go. doing good. No treat. Let's go. Go see daddy. Sam and Colby were here in 2023 and we ended up doing a ritual. And honestly, there hasn't been many ghost activities other than Leroy, which we wanted him to stay around until two weekends ago. I had a child over. A four-year-old child. And as we know, they are very clairvoyant. We are in the middle room of upstairs. So there's a loft on each side, another bedroom, this bedroom. I don't come up here. I don't live up here at all. Let me show you what it looks like. There is a bed. You coast past this light over here. We got another bed. You see this creepy door over here? Yeah. You see this creepy door right here? This child would not sleep, okay? It was about two o'clock in the morning. She was wound. She finally falls asleep. 2.30 a.m. She sits up. She goes, who's that girl? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? She said, yeah, a little girl came out of this door and went in that door. I don't wanna play this game. I don't wanna be here. I'm scared. I go back to sleep. What else can I do? Wake up in the morning, we're having breakfast. Again, four-year-old little girl looks at me and goes, hey, who was that girl last night? Is that your friend? It's not my friend. I have had two different contractors tell me about a girl that they saw up here. And I'm sad, it makes me sad that she's living in these crawl spaces. Nothing scares me more than these crawl spaces. Growing up, I didn't have anything like this in my house. So whenever I see them at anybody else's house when I was a kid, I was immediately just terrified of them. Cause look, it goes like 15 feet that way, 15 feet that way, and 15 feet that way. And it's hot. So now I'm convinced that there's a child that lives in the crawl spaces of this middle room that has crooked ceilings and hidden doors and a, and a hidden bookcase. Of course, where else would a child ghost be? So we're gonna pull this stuff out because that's honestly a really fun mystery. This shit got shoved in here two years ago when we moved in and um, it's, time, it's time to spring clean. So we're gonna spring clean. We're gonna set her up a cool little place for her to hang out and then we're, we're gonna try and talk to her. And uh, that's, that's today's video, so. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me. Oh my goodness, okay. This is what we're working with in here. Like, tell me this isn't terrifying. Tell me this definitely doesn't have bugs in here. For sure, why is it so hot? That's the question. Um, we're gonna have to empty both of these. Luckily, there isn't too much stuff, so let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, we got a baby gate. <sighs> yeah, this was to keep dogs out. I think I'm just trying to hide going inside there. And yes, my sweater, does say Taco Bell. Know your brand. Okay, cute Leia. I'll keep her. She's cute. I feel like gold's going out, which makes me upset, to say the least. All right, we have cute pillow. I bought this because it reminded me of The Shining a little bit. We'll throw that in the bed. Ooh, my favorite. These are ADHD uh, doom boxes. Doom boxes are everything. We have queen flannel Christmas sheets. I will keep these. This is a box of trash. Uh, I probably started cleaning and then somebody was coming over, so I just shoved it, shoved it away. There are starbursts in there and I am tempted. Okay, we have more pillows. I'm going to donate pillows because I literally have 900 of them and I don't need any of them. That's the thing, she said she came out of that side and went into this side. Like, are these different dimensions? Are there different dimensions? What was that? Hello? Are you hearing my house making a bunch of noises as I talk about there being different dimensions? Do you hear it? <sighs> We're getting empty, but it's getting weird in here. Need my bump cap. <sighs> I'm not an asshole. There's no spiders. I'm not, I'm not a spider person. Okay, what do we have left? There's not a lot left here. <gasps> okay, so these right here, I love jelly cats. I don't know how these got in here, but these are jelly cats. And they're bought because this is Adam and this is me. How cute is that? Uh, we'll actually probably leave these in here for her to play with. Oh, <laughs> this is amazing. This was um, a dream board made by my old assistant because we were going to, um, I don't even know. I think it was the photo shoot inspo. How cute though, he did a great job. And then what do we have here? We have a colorful light. We got a loofah. We got an eye mask. Oh yeah, so when people come stay over, 
I make little um, baskets for them to uh, <laughs> hang out with, have while they're here. Okay, this is scary. I thought that, oh good, it's not. Okay, I thought that was a real bat. It is not a real bat. Why is it sticky though? Ew, everything is sticky. Cool, cool, maybe mold, don't know. There's not much more to go on this side, which feels, feels good. What do we got here? Oh, this is back from when I had bought a Gucci bag and then Molly ate this, but I was like, hey, we can put that in a picture frame. See, that's me hoarding. Throw it out. Ooh, wait, Cracker Barrel. One of my favorite restaurants simply because of the store. Oh, not Cracker Barrel. Oh, goodness, this. These are witchy ingredients. We got corn flowers to help alleviate discourse and stress. We got elder flower for inner calm peace. Guys, I do a lot of like meditations and I use a lot of these. I burn these herbs. What do we have here? Honeysuckle draws money, success, aids confidence, and sharpens intuition. And then what do we have here? Is that mulein, mulein leaf to protect against bewitchment. Ooh, we should leave some of these in here for her. Because like, she's from the olden days. Let's just. Let's just put a couple of these out for her. There, we'll just I'll pick these up in Salem. Let's just put those there. Okay, we're looking clean. It's not as scary once you're like, like in in here. Okay, okay. At least there's no mold, no no moisture. Oh goodness. Oh God. This is the other side. As you can see, the door is a lot smaller. I don't know what to expect from this side. It is definitely a lot more full. Oh. <laughs> It's a fun little hobby of mine. I really love dummies. People and dummies. So, you guys wanna go experiment? We're gonna have a look inside here. We're gonna see some scary things. Have some ghosts. Yeah, I can't. I tried to watch myself there, that was painful. But I really love puppets. Don't tell people these things. Why do you do this? And then you wonder, hmm, why don't you get invited to things, Lita? I could give you a couple reasons. Oh my goodness, okay. We have some boxes. We have a giant garbage bag. Um, we have some posts. Ooh, and a wall. Okay, interesting, not on the other side. Come on, big guy, please don't be pillows. Guess what, it's Halloween pillows. Halloween themed pillows. We'll keep that. <sighs> Halloween come but once a year, baby. Ooh. Uh, uh. Inside this box right here are antique photographs. I don't know how they actually got in here, but like, is this crazy? This isn't even that long ago. Oh, someone's whole, we're gonna have to go through this. Not right now, not for you guys, but I'm going through this. Oh, photo album pages, 20 bucks. Yeah, look at the whole Heath family. Like it literally has the family that owned it and everything. They just got rid of it. Next up, oh, this will be perfect for her. We'll use this blanket and put it out for her to snuggle with. This is just a random box of, of things. Oh, that's a light that I used to have up. It was all a dream. Oh yeah, that's, that's a doom box. I have to film a little TikTok quick. So this box has a little bit of uh, everything ever in the world, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do something that's very like me, okay? So there's a there's a bed right here. Oh, the bed is too short. Oh, over there. All right, next up. Oh, I'm gonna hang this up. Look how cool this is. It's like a little moon hanging thing fun i'm just making a bigger mess that i won't clean up after got some wooden posts but i don't know why these feel like they belong these dowels so i'm just gonna put you down next up we have ooh some mid-century modern tapestry cool <gasps> we're gonna put that up for her you guessed it it's pillows there's no place like home because there isn't <sighs> We got one of these blankets. I only love these blankets. They are from Walmart. They're like jersey knit blankets, but we'll use this for her craft stuff. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh no. I'm scared to go in here. Going inside like it's 1995. Like this is very paranormal activity. Do you know what I mean? Oh God, what is that? It's a pumpkin, of course. Okay, what else do we have? What even is that? Oh, Halloween pillows. All right, you're good for October. And what are you? You're fluffy pillows, of course you are. What else would you be? The other side seems more comfy, make a little place to live, but we'll, we'll investigate both. That ass is too fat and not in a good way. It's flat, but it's wide. 
What's buzzing over there? I think it is important that we set her up a little tiny spot to hang out on each side. Okay, just in case, with a couple fun pillows and a little blankie, and then I think that we should investigate in there. I don't want to. I'm gonna start by giving her a little blanket pad to sit on, and then I'm gonna put some pillows and a stuffed animal. So I feel I feel like a crazy person because I'm making a play spot for a ghost child. But you know what? Maybe it's considerate. Ghost childrens don't even need these things. Look at these. These are so cute and fun. Oh my god, the one that says there's no place like home. That's kind of dark, isn't it? I love the spooky session commence. We recently tore down a play place because it was rotting, and there were some names in there. There was Celine. There was Avril. I was hoping it was Levine. When Kai Measure Avril comes through and it's not the real Avril. Have you seen the conspiracy of Avril Levine not actually being Avril Levine? Yeah, I'm curious too. We have a nice little spire. We have some comfy pillows. We have our little monsters. I just see some fake monsters. Ma'am, assigned seating. I think what I'm mainly curious of is, is this child an ancient spirit? Is this child a modern spirit? Is this child a child? There's this creepy asshole, and I kind of don't want my back all the way to it, so I'm just gonna give a little bit of a shift. Cool, 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 cool. All right, we're gonna set up the REM pod. Can you see it? Let's see if that goes off. We have right here the EVP. Nope, EMF reader. I feel dizzy. I'm afraid to like connect, you know what I mean? Okay, nothing in the immediate area. Cool, we'll just leave it on. We'll stick it right here, we'll just leave it on. Hello? If there is a spirit here that would like to chillsy willsy. You're making a lot of sounds earlier. Love to love to talk to ya. So many sounds when we're moving stuff. Now there's nothing. Okay, I'm gonna turn on this fun piece of equipment right here. It's called the Alice box. You can use it to manipulate, to tell me things. I'd really like to know your name. I don't feel anything negative up here at all anymore but a lot of people have seen you including a little girl i'm gonna turn this on okay <whistles> scares me vicky the first thing we get on the alice box is a name vicky okay that's insane if you know the alice box it's pretty rare that you actually get a name the very first thing that we just got was a name okay vicky um Can you let us know kind of what happened to you maybe? If you remember anything about your life? Anything, honestly. The word is open to you, I will interpret. I'd love if you could go near my REM pod. Create. There's a craft right in front of me. Is that what you're interested in? The poster board's there. Hmm, I'm gonna grab the REM pod. Vicky, how old are you? Edition. Edition. How old? Number. Edition. Hey. There are scratch marks right along here, which is kind of intimidating. Cool, cool. I'm just so afraid this door's just gonna slam shut. <sighs> um, what do you think of these these little toys that I have here with me? These little monsters, aren't they cute? Is that you over there making those noises? There were no sounds at all when we started, none. I'm gonna put the REM pod out here. Are you still in the room with us? Do you want- Kept. Were you kept in these little closets? I really doubt that could have been it. So, okay, here's the thing about this property. And I have touched on with this property since we've been here, especially with the things that we learned about the property. The fact that it used to be a dump. Because it just sunk away. It was a very, you know, sinkhole-ish kind of deal. And people would come out to sink their secrets. But when we were out in the woods... Huh. When we were out... So... Roger. Oh my god, that's literally what I'm talking about. So there was one, I don't remember what video it was, I think it was when I dressed up like a ghost. We did a mini ghost hunt out in the woods, and it came to about these girls that were in the woods, and I could see them, they were running, and they were stressed, and they were like taken and brought and given to other people, and that there were some bodies out in the forest, which I know is a crazy claim to use. Girl. Mm. There's five flies here, 
and we were having this Vicky, we have girl, we have Roger, someone named Roger. What I saw in the woods was a girl running. There was a man walking after her. I've had a feeling that things maybe happened on this land at some point in time. Gail. Another girl's name. It all just kind of falls in. Like, I'm literally afraid. Like, we've heard the things. We've had psychics come here and tell us not to open the well. Yeah, you're down here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have crazy chills. I'm shaking. Let's please open, 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 and all the flies. out of here. That was so clear. Like, I don't, I don't feel like, open that. I don't feel like there's, oh, a body in the well. Like, I don't know if it's a body. If it is, I don't think opening it would do anything good. There's just been so many things that are pointing at the fact that I think there are, like, bodies on this land, maybe from back when it was a dump, maybe, you know, owners of this property, because it dates back to, like, the 1950s, but I just... Alphabet. Alphabet. I just see... I see these things. Rose. Rose, okay. We have Gail, we have Rose, we have Vicky. I've made it really clear since the beginning that there's a lot of female presence around here. Like there's a lot of different woman spirits. I've seen them in the meadows when I was mowing lawns. I've seen them a lot of different places. Is Vicky still here? Is the young girl here? The other thing too is like, she could have shown herself as a child. You don't have to use the equipment. Can you give me an audible sign? Show. Show, like a show, show me. Hello. Okay, she's still here. Someone's here. I've never had this go off so far. Hello. The well. Adam? There's a cold breeze in the room. How many of you are here? Do you want me to go over to the other side? Evidence. Evidence. Ocean. I have a lake. To a child, they'd call that an ocean. There's evidence. The whole time I've lived here, I'm like, I feel like if I were to cast a magnet in there, that we would pull up something that we're not supposed to. Do you know when you get a gut feeling and you're just like, I know there is something? I know there's something about something. Himself. This video is turning into something different. I know I'm trying to connect with this child spirit that has been seen by people up here, but I'm starting to wonder if it isn't a child at all, or if it is. Schoolmistress. What? I don't know what this land was. The first time I stepped foot on this place, it wasn't for sale. We had lost that on our house and a real estate agent, our fantastic real estate agent was like, I know this place. and. We came out here and I walked on this land and I felt so unbelievably connected to this land. I came out of the hole and I just, I don't even feel like I should go into the other side. My like energy has changed. Like I know the video is like really fun and, and playful, but the truth is every single time that we open up a line of communication in this house, women come through girls come through and they always speak on the exact same things. I don't tap into the places that I live because I get too absorbed in the story, but the few times that I have really tapped into this place, personally, not on video, I seen here things that I feel like I've seen in a horror movie. The truth is that this place, it was a dump at one point. It was somewhere where people didn't really go. And as it was literally said by a man around here, he said this was a place where people came to sink their stories. Um, there had literally been people in the area whose, you know, wife left, husband just left, never to be seen again. I had a photographer here and the makeup artist was here and we were walking out of the woods and um, she was an indigenous woman and she said, she literally said, I can smell death no matter how long it's been around and it is here. And it was one of the entrances to the forest, the same one where I saw something later on. I know this video was fun and light, but I just don't know what step to take. I think it'd be a cool video to bring a whole bunch of psychics out, a whole bunch, go over this property and find out exactly who's trying to reach through because we have heard from Gail, we have heard from Rose, we have heard from Vicky. Maybe it's time to magnet the pond. I'm just afraid of what I'm gonna find. Until next time.
Pray for me. Bye. Leave me with the ghost! Love you, have fun with the ghosties. Goodbye! Why, your door's cracked open. Someone's trying to get out. Don't say such a thing. Ooh, I touched something soft. It was insulation. Don't eat that. Learned that the hard way. Not good. Not cotton candy.